Privacy is important, especially when it comes to sharing important information with your clients. To maintain this, you may have what's called a virtual private network. If you do, but you've just switched to a Mac OS, you'll need to reconfigure the settings to maintain that privacy. In this Cisco Tech Talk, we'll demonstrate how to configure a client-to-site VPN to a client using the Mac OS. Next. For this example, we'll be using an RV260 router. Now, the first thing we need to do is create a new IPsec profile. We'll click Add, enter our name, and then change the Ike version to Ike version 2. For phase one, DH group will be group two, and encryption will be AES-256. Authentication will be SHA-2-256. Lifetime will be 28,800. For phase two, options will be ESP. Encryption will be AES-256. Authentication will be SHA-2-256. SA lifetime will be 3,600. DH group will be group two. Click Apply to save, then click on Client to Site and click Add. Click Enable and enter a tunnel name. Now choose the IPsec profile we've created and select the WAN interface on which we have an internet connection. Now we'll need to enter a pre-shared key. We'll want to make it secure enough that no one's going to guess what it is. But we'll make an exception for this video by showing you ours. Just don't tell anyone. For local identifier and remote identifier, we'll choose FDQN. These names are ambiguous and they just need to include a dot. In this example, we'll enter router.vpn for our local identifier and client.vpn for remote identifier. Next, we'll enter the pool range. This will include the IP range that'll be assigned to the clients on the VPN. This can't be the same IP range of either our local or remote networks. Now we'll dig into the advanced settings. We can leave our local IP type as any, and we can add a different primary DNS server if we'd like. To keep things simple, we're going to leave our router as our primary DNS server. Now let's enable split tunnel. This identifies networks that can be reached within the VPN. Let's add the networks we want our clients to access. The clients will only be able to send traffic through the VPN if it is added to the network we added. All other traffic will be sent out of the client's default gateway. This option can also be disabled. Click Apply to save our configuration. Now we'll configure our client side. Open System Preferences. Choose Network. Click Add. Then, under Interface Type, choose VPN. The VPN type should be Ike V2. Enter a service name and click Create. Next, click on Authentication Settings. Choose None and enter the pre-shared key we created in the RV260. Click on OK and enter the server address, which will be the public IP address of our router. Now we enter the remote ID. This will be the local identifier we created on the RV260. The local ID for the client will be the remote identifier we created on the RV260. Click on Connect and then Apply to save our settings. Now that we're connected to our RV260 router, we'll try to connect to the GUI of our router by typing in the private IP address of our router in the client's web browser. Here we are able to connect to our RV260 router through the VPN. That's how we set up the RV260 Ike version 2 VPN for Mac OS. There you have it. Now, it may seem like a lengthy process, but it's worth it to stay connected and maintain privacy with clients on a Mac OS. Thank you for watching this Cisco Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.